I mean, come on, a six mana pit commander. I mean, oh, <laughs> into zero cost and void hound. Hey, what's up guys? Today's spicy new off meta deck is gonna be this big demon, demon hunter. So I was inspired to make this deck because we got a couple new cards from the Dark Moon Races mini set that enables this. So we have the Lucky Soul Hoarder, gives us a little bit more healing with the soul fragments. And now we don't have to run the Spirit Jailer anymore. So Spirit Jailer was a really weak demon that you really didn't want to be pulled with like a pit commander or summoned with a fell summoner. And then we also have the Illidari Studies. It's such a versatile card. You know, you want a skull on six, boom, you got it. You want a silence against the rattle gore, boom, you got it. There's only 11 outcasted cards right now in the pool total. So chances are you can find what you're looking for pretty easily. Other than that, you want to play a little bit of tempo, a little bit of control through the early and the mid game. And then once you hit that late game, then you just start dropping those big demons after big demons and then you win. But yeah, I've been having a ton of fun with this deck if you guys like it let me know by leaving a like down below that really does help me out a ton with the youtube algorithm and if you like off meta decks just like this then hit that subscribe button and ring that bell notification to make sure that you don't miss out on my next creation and while you're headed down that way check out the comments section for the funky question of the day but for now let's hop into the gameplay stay funky oh my oh my oh this is a hand right here this is it been loving Secret Mage and Stater. Dude, nice Asgard. Yeah, Secret Mage is making a comeback. I actually kind of like it. It's very, it's a very flavorful deck, you know? It kind of fits like Mage's class identity and it has a lot of burn in there. It has like some secrets and stuff and like, I don't know, it just feels like a Mage deck. I don't know, I don't know if that makes sense, but it feels like, like this Rogue deck, for example, it feels like you're not really playing Rogue because you have all these Wand Thieves for Mage spells and whatnot, but... Um, let's just go face. Could double tap this over a couple turns. Probably not worth. I'm playing that. I like playing Hearthstone alone. Oh, nice. Nice. Wait, wait, are you playing uh, the Miracle Mage? I'm just chilling. I'll just say, I, I really don't want him to uh, play the poison card. What is that? Nitro Boost Poison? But he hasn't actually corrupted it yet. He's not played any two cost stuff. So I need to play a two cost spell here and then play the Nitro Boost. Yeah, I'm not really too afraid. Oh, yes. Okay. Okay. I got you. I got you, Sidsman. Yeah. You know, honestly, yeah. You know, I mean, I, Pure Paladin's kind of an easier to pilot deck and it does well, but that's okay. You know? To each their own, right? That's why there's so many different decks out there. I mean, it definitely has its counters. It's definitely not like the best deck. So, you know, I don't, I don't mind Pure Paladin. I kind of like it, actually. I like it as a deck that exists. <laughs> is it just me? I look really, like, really, like, bright. Hmm... Go and fix that a little bit. Okay. Oh, two skulls on the right side. I mean, we could maybe move them over to the left. Sometime. Sometime eventually soon. Um, okay, so we'll share this dude. Even dirty tricks. I kind of hope it is. Ugh. Okay. Hmm. Oh god, I might regret this. Yeah. Okay. I mean, so they punch into there. So it's basically like a two mana secret for my, what, one mana Fellhound? All in all, I'll take that trade. I think I come out ahead in this uh, exchange, mana wise. And I mean, I think the most important thing here is just like shifting stuff over to the left, so just so I can get these skulls active. Decks that annoy me are OTK that happened with uh, under 10 mana available. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, because there's a limited disruption these days for uh, OTK decks, right? So like you're playing your game plan. It doesn't even matter. Like your opponent just does their thing. <laughs> oh, man. Um, get the skull to five. Doesn't really matter.
Okay. Ooh, I hope they go big on like an Edwin here. Yeah, so we can go, what, Warblades into Chaos Strike into some stuff. And then we can go Skull into Skull. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Now we're going to kick it on the Afterburners. Been trying to come up with an Elemental Mage deck, but it's been pretty difficult to figure out what type of deck it should be. Ah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to go mid range? Do you want to go burn? Do you want to go hyper aggro? Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. I think it could be something to using Pole Kelt in a deck that runs Fireball and a Pexus Blast. Hmm. See, I like that actually, Asgar, but the only thing about a Pexus Blast, see, I thought about doing that as well. Don't want to actually smack anything here or like burn a Chaos Strike. I think I might want to burn a Chaos Strike on this dude. Yeah, let's do something like this here. Heal back close to full. And then we're pretty good. We're, yeah, we're not too far behind going into like a skull turn. So if they happen to generate some more lackeys and evolve that dude, now we don't get punished too much. Um, but yeah, actually, I actually thought about that too, Asgard. I mean, one of the difficult things though about doing something like a Pexus Blast is you're probably running other elementals, right? Which are minions. So a Pexus Blast is probably not going to be active. But yeah, like using like a fine balance between like Pole Kelt and stuff to build your deck and stack it. Um, there, there could definitely, I've been thinking the same thing too. There could definitely be something there. Um, I guess I could go Sigil Runner here. Wait, 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 I could go Philosophy. Wait, what if I Philosophy the Void Hounds? Dude, I'm going for it. I don't want, I don't really care if it's outcasted. Oh, dude, we got it. Oh, oh my gosh, we got it. Oh, we're so good at this game, guys. Oh, we're so good. <laughs> we have no uh, attack buffs in hand, so we might as well hit this. Hit this idiot. Oh my gosh, dude, we're so good. <laughs> yeah, nothing is OP if everything is OP, right? Yeah, yeah. I think that's like their philosophy these days. We'll just make everything busted. Cheat out everybody's deck by turn four. <laughs> it's a free for all. <laughs> good how it seems. But yeah, I agree though that like some decks like shouldn't be able to complete OTKs that quickly because like in Hearthstone, you don't get to interact with your opponent on their turn, right? So like if your opponent has an OTK by turn six, there's nothing you can do about it. None of your decisions really matter. There's no way you can build your deck that matters, right? So it's just like if they nut, there's nothing you can do. And it feels bad in Hearthstone. Whereas like in Magic the Gathering, at least you can put like counter spells and stuff in your deck. So if your opponent tries to pop off on a turn six combo, at least you have some kind of say in it, right? Whereas like in Hearthstone, you don't have that. So yeah, I think OTKs are very dangerous to have in Hearthstone, and I think they should require a lot of setup. And some of these OTKs that we have currently are just a little bit too quick. Like Mozaki, Lifesteal Demon Hunter. Even though they're not like consistent of decks overall, um, they just still feel bad to play against, right? So. Um, all right, what are we doing? What are we doing? I kind of hope it is Ambush here. I don't want to give them a uh, Fellhound. Ah, do I? I don't really care, right? About giving them a Fellhound? Yeah, I don't really care if it is a Plagiarize. Okay, so it's Dirty Tricks. But yeah, I mean, if because if they spent three mana to play a Fellhound, it means they have that much less mana to play Secrets with their Hanar, right? It's the only rogue running bamboozle. Yeah, it might be actually. <laughs> I mean, it's it's not terrible to run some of those off meta secrets like misdirection and hunter, bamboozle and uh, rogue because nobody ever plays around it. So you can really catch people off guard. Any good glide decks? No, nah, unfortunately not. I've tried and it's just <laughs> it, it just feels like a worse skull of Gul'dan. Honestly, like, sure, you can mess up your opponents, but you're just like, man, I really wish I had my Skull of Gul'dan. <laughs> because people have been sleeping on Glide Demon Hunter, dude. Do you guys remember day one when Glide was revealed? People were saying it was going to be like breaking the game. It was the most ridiculous card ever printed. I quit the game. 
somebody in nerf glide right now like <laughs> and it hasn't even seen any amount of play oh man and yo lone wolf yo thank you so much yo much appreciated yo glad glad to see you here lone wolf jeez dude wait did he really just give me another militia wait what okay i don't even know what to play around here don't even know don't even care just <laughs> not even gonna play around anything just fire some stuff off yep sure yep don't even know what to play around probably flame ward right i guess a shadow clone wait what okay i'm glad that we didn't uh <laughs> glad we didn't attack with the three six here then okay so we know this is dirty tricks jeez dude holy smokes batman okay we'll just do it all over again i don't know why he sapped my militia though they give me a whole board full of three threes again? I don't know, that doesn't seem correct. Like, he, he could have sapped one of my three threes at least. Just two two less worth of stats, but now I get to refill with the militia. I'll take it. <laughs> Blaze, <laughs> the baby hype. That's right, that's right, the baby hype. So hyped. And yo, Death Star, yo, thank you so much. Yo, I saw your uh, message in game. I uh, appreciate it, though. But how you doing, Death Star? Good seeing you. 20 minutes to win against a Paladin, but roping and dropping taunts. Oh. Ooh, that's rough. I mean, <laughs> honestly, I don't think there's any way we can lose from here. Right? Unless they cast, like, a random Yogg box or something, but... Don't think that there's a way that we lose. Just throwing that out there. <laughs> Getting a Priestess of Fury? Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> then we're going to drop a Void Hound next turn. Hey, nice, uh, nice three mana one four there, guy. I'm good, how are you? Doing fantastic. Oh, I'm just over the moon right now. As I'm sure you can uh, imagine. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm super excited. Exactly, exactly. Oh, so, so energized, so hyped. It'll be the most exciting six months and more until the baby is born. And then after that, best, best years of my life ahead of me. Can't wait. Okay, that's a lot of secrets. Okay, deck tracker, you need to. You need to chill. Uh, Windows. General? Opponent? I'm gonna start launching some stuff out and hope for the best. I mean, is this lethal at all? Double sack. Pack tactics. <laughs> Jeez, dude. <laughs> I mean, this is lethal here. If it's explosive, right? Yeah, here we go. All right, there we go. <laughs> Let's just get the lethal. Screw your secrets, man. I'm just gonna kill you. <laughs> get out of here with your secrets. Priest. I do like the Fell Screamer. Ooh, Fell Screamer on four and a Priestess on five. I mean... I actually kind of like this. 
It's weird, but I mean, I got a really good turn four, five, six. So yeah, four, five, six. And then the skull is almost, yeah, all the way to the left side of the hand. This is easy to dump. I mean, it's kind of weird, but I kind of like it. So we'll see, we'll see. All right, so I wonder if this is going to be like the Alusha Priest, where the only minute in their deck is going to be Alusha. It's something that Monsanto has been playing recently, and it's actually kind of a good deck. It's scary to play against, like any Priest, but... I think I wait one more turn? Yeah, I think I wait one more turn on the studies here. So no matter what, like it can give me like a one, two or three cost outcast card. And there's a lot of them. So we should be able to choose something from this Illidari studies. I see, congratulations, wish, wish you all the best. Y'all, thank you so much, Emerald Boa. That really means a lot. Oh yeah, super excited. Super, super duper excited. All right, we'll coin this out now. Now we can studies next turn. Then we'll Priestess on five, and then we'll probably get ready to like Skull soon after that. It feels bad, man. Get over here. Yeah. <laughs> feels bad, man. Do your chores. <laughs> you just found out that your wife is pregnant. Who's the father? Good one, Queso. Good one. Mm, yeah, study seems good. Oh my gosh, dude. The skull? Dude. Dude, I actually think I take the Sigil Runner here. Yeah, that skull's gonna be way too hard to activate. Oh shoot, this guy wasn't, uh, oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, well, whatever. Oh, I should have played this one first and then that, okay. Big, big fat idiot here. Don't mind me, just doing idiot things. Ah, bummer. Yeah, yeah, so if I played that Sigil Runner and then I silenced that, I could have just hero powered and traded. I didn't need to waste like a weapon there. <laughs> Kappa, Kappa, Kappa here, <laughs> yeah. And then people will be playing the Kappa song and think that it's made after my kid. Kappa, 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 Kappa. <laughs> Dude, I wonder, there's gotta be at least one person in the world right now that's born that's named Kappa. I think that there has to be. How many people, how, how many people did you guys say that were born each day? 385,000? Each day? I mean, come on. One of those people has to be named Kappa. <laughs> Just has to be. I could have maybe saved the, the weapon charge there, but. First name Kappa, last name Keck W. <laughs> <laughs> so Spice Druid is someone without Arbor up in their deck list. Ah, okay, okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. <laughs> Baby can be named King Mukla. Oh man. What are what are some of the other uh, monkey names? Um Banana Vendor. Banana buffoon. Yeah, there we go. That's that's a little bit more my style. Banana buffoon. Death it? Oh, Hysteria. Oh, it actually doesn't clear. Oh, there it is. Okay. Well, I mean, they had to spend a lot of resources here just to clear, so. Not too upset about that. Um, is there a matter two? I don't need the lifesteal. I think I just want to play this out. Let's get a mini on the board, you know. Next turn, we can play Pit Commander, and that's guaranteed to pull either Priestess or Voidhound. Oh, shit. Hmm. You know what? Actually, maybe we just want to shuffle some Soul Fragments in, and then go for like a big uh, Soul Kaleologist next turn. I guess we'll draw first. See if we draw a demon or whatnot. Okay, no. I mean, come on, a six mana pit commander. I mean, 
Oh! <laughs> and do zero cost in Void Hound! <laughs> That's too good! Oh! <laughs> Your turn! You got the Soul Mirror? Okay, they do have the Soul Mirror. It doesn't kill this, though. And they don't have any demons in their deck. So I still gotta punch them for seven. Alright, unless they kill this. Ah, oh, another Holy Smite. Shoot. Alright, but yeah, they don't have a demon in their deck, though, so... No worries about that. I think I actually want to go Fell Summoner here, because that does summon my pick commander if they kill it. So they almost have to, like, silence it, right? So either we're going to smack him for 8 damage, or they kill it and it summons a pit commander, and then we're going to smack him for 7 damage. So it's kind of like a win-win. But yeah, I do want to shuffle maybe a couple more fragments in with this hoarder before we militia. We've already seen their soul mirror, so we don't have to worry about another one unless they generate it. Mm, they've already played both Holy Smites. Ray's dead? Okay, might get them, what, a pit commander? What else does it give them? They haven't really played that many minions, right? It's just like Pit Commander. Oh, and the Cthune's body, okay. Okay, cool with that. Let's see, so we got what? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, this is, I think this is a Blade Dance here. Oh. Ah, oh, that was such a bad misplay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I didn't actually need to use that second slice. Um, I could have actually blade danced there and then smacked him with my weapon, punched eight to the face, and then still dropped the Lucky Soul Hoarder. So I would have had a Lucky Soul plus the eight three on the board. But I mean, this way, I do get a free Void Hound and a seven nine. They already played Spirits or uh, Soul Mirror. Oh, nice! They're just the miracle! Okay. <laughs> Do they have Gift of Luminance? Gift of Luminance is, like, the only way that they can really, like, pop off here. Because as soon as they start drawing into some of their pieces, then they're done. Nice! Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. They weren't able to completely, like, pop off. Whew, all right. Probably something like this. Okay, so now that we know that they're playing, like, the Cthune Miracle Priest, I think we can just go ham here. Okay, some of this doodad. So I actually don't want this to summon anything from my deck here. I think this is fine. We do know that they have a uh, Heart of Cthulhu that they are eventually going to cast. See if we got him here. And yo, Asgar! Yo, Asgar coming in with the prime. Holy guacamole, dude. Holy guacamole. Coming in with the prime. Yo, let's hype that up. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> yo, thank you so much for that, Asgar. I really appreciate that. And uh, we are welcome to the Funky Fam. Enjoy the emotes, all that good stuff. Thanks for playing off minute decks as long as you're tryharding with them. Yes, absolutely. You're welcome. My pleasure. It's fun playing with these off meta decks. Here, okay, that doesn't cycle. Nice. Is that the end of their cycle? Is that it? Is that all she wrote? Um, they did raise debts. So they could do this all over again. Ugh. Um, wait, 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 why did they, why did they silence this? Wait, what? They silenced it after apathy? Um, did they just, did they just hand me the game? <laughs> what? Okay. Right, this is game, right? 16, 17, yeah, this is just game. Exact lethal, okay. <laughs> Probably forgot that wave of, or that uh, it gets rid of the wave of apathy when you silence it. 
Understandable. Got him, though. I lost eight games in a row with Cthulhu Miracle Priest and gave up. It's a tough deck, though. It really is the Mahar, yeah. Thanks for watching. If you made it this far, make sure to leave a like down below and also subscribe if you want to see more original off meta decks just like this. And check out this sweet video. You're going to love it, I promise. See you there.